Abdullah. Uh, Sheikh, we have a problem of unruly kids at the mosque, and it's especially bad during Tarawih. Children run around disturbing the worshippers and the neighbors. The mosque gets frequent complaints from the neighbors, and it's embarrassing for the Muslim community. When parents are asked to discipline the children, they say they don't want the children to grow up hating the mosque. Is this a valid excuse to allow them uh, to allow them to use the mosque as their personal playground? And what is the balanced approach to controlling children at the mosque, some of whom are actually old enough to be praying? Jazakum Allah khairan Shaykh. First of all, the Prophet ﷺ ordered us to instruct children to pray when they're seven, which means that below the age of seven, they're not instructed to come to the masjid, let alone forced to do that. Secondly, if the harm of bringing children beyond the age of seven is far greater than the benefit, they should be prevented. If the harm from the children above the age of seven is far greater, we have to discipline the children. It's not an excuse for us to keep them home and say, well, they're naughty and they're hyper. No, we have to discipline the children to force them to behave when they are in the masjid. What the parents, some of the parents do, they bring their children, they engage in taraweeh and they let the children play in the masjid and use it as a playground. And you hear them shouting and screaming and crying and tossing things around while we are engaged in the prayer. And the moment the Imam says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, for tashahud, they don't do anything. The moment he goes, Allahu Akbar, they start their ordeal. No, this is totally prohibited. You get your child, you put him next to you. So you can control him and you can discipline him, you can monitor him. And to claim that we don't want to make a negative impact upon the children, this is not a valid reason. If your children, when you're visiting a friend's house or relatives, misbehave or break a vase, you're not going to say, oh, we don't want to uh, 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 reprimand them so that they won't, aren't negatively impacted. No, you will reprimand them. The house of Allah is more worthy of being respected. But we have to balance. Some people don't even want the child to say, uh, what is this? He's a child. So you can expect things of him, but not to the extent of hanging on chandeliers and jumping from one pillar to the other like Tarazan. This is not the appropriate way of doing it, and Allah knows best.